Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to record a podcast or live stream and upload it on automation. So I'm really excited about this, the Tascam SSR250N. It's a solid state recorder and it's also networkable, which means I can plug in an ethernet cable and connect this to the internet. There are two different versions of this kit. Most of you will be happy recording onto SD card, but if for whatever reason you need to write on CD, there is the SSCDR250N, which has a full CDR capability. It's got a very cute remote control as well included, which you can use to start and stop the unit from a distance. Another great thing about this piece of kit is it comes with its own app for iOS and Android. So you can control the unit remotely, providing it's plugged into Ethernet. You can also change all of the settings and page through and check up on your files and also things like the status of upload to FTP. You can power this unit using the provided power cable. Now, of course, if there's a power outage, the best thing about this unit is it will stop and save your audio and you won't lose anything. There's so much you can do with it. The first thing, obviously, is to switch it on. And that brings up a beautiful blue display, a bunch of recording controls that you can work with. And of course, you need to flip open the SD slot. Now, there are actually slots for two SD cards here. So you can have one recording and one as a backup if you want to be super sure to record that audio you really need. Or you can relay from one to the other. So I'm using a 128 gigabyte SSD. I could have two of those and have all the space I'm ever going to need to record audio. Audio connections are pretty straightforward. There are balanced and unbalanced uh, analog connections using XLR cable, of course, a bunch of other digital connections as well. And there's an optional Dante interface, which will give you networked audio direct into the unit. Once I'm ready to go, I can hit the record button and of course, make sure that I've got my input set up correctly. So I'm getting audio levels and then hit play to start recording. Now, this could be my latest podcast episode. This could be a live stream that I want to record the audio only so I can have it ready to uh, produce into a podcast. And the best feature about this is that you can actually network it and go into the menu and go and select the FTP settings. Now, inside the FTP settings, you can select your own FTP server and also tell it to automatically upload when you finish recording. So say, for instance, you're doing a live podcast or a live stream and you simply want that audio to go up to an FTP server or a shared place where your podcast producer can then download it, edit it and have it go live for you on automation. This little 19 inch unit can automate all of that for you. I really like the LCD display on the front of this unit. I think it's fantastic. Obviously it networks as well on my local network. I wish that there was some kind of web interface included like there is with the uh, live streaming unit from Tascam. I did a video on that. You might wanna go back and watch it. It'd be amazing if Tascam would introduce an update to access this, or maybe it already exists and I just simply didn't find it. But simply entering your FTP details on here and setting it to auto upload is not really a major issue. One final cool accessory that I think podcasters, radio hosts, DJs are really going to love is the ability to trigger off sound bites, effects, jingles, and more using an optional add-on that you can buy called the RC SS150. And as I just mentioned, it fits perfectly into a 19 inch rack. You can screw it under the desk as well if you're working from home. It's very, very versatile. And I love the fact that the recording quality can go as high as 96 kilohertz WAV file. Of course, you can do MP3 as well with this, but this is a high quality recording unit using simple micro SD cards. Couldn't be easier to figure out and work. And it gets a big thumbs up from me. In fact, a unit like this will be perfect for me when I'm doing the live stream to upload the audio afterwards and have one of our producers make it into a full show. Let me know what you think about this unit and how you're gonna be using it in the comments down below.